Good evening. I'd like to call the Water Board meeting for Wednesday, January 19, 2022, to order. So please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Roll call, please, Mr. Traxel. Councilman uh, Rob Getzloff. Present. Councilwoman Robin Arvinitis. Here. Councilman Kevin Conley. Present. Councilman Caleb Johnson. Hello. Councilman Rob Getzloff. Present. Oh, I'm sorry to catch on you yeah, twice. Right, twice, big guy. Yeah, yeah. You're important. One half of me and another half. <laughs> Attorney David Austin. Present. Fire Chief Robert Patterson. Present. Deputy Fire Chief David Meyer. Here. Police Chief Pete Sormas. Here. Deputy Police Chief Steve McNamara. Here. Park Superintendent John Novosich. Here. IT Robbie Hansen. Here. Public Works Director Andy Hansen. Here. Director of Operations Jim Gorman. Here. Town Manager Robert Bokeman. Here. Recording Secretary Robin Teal. Here. Councilman Tom Schmidt. Here. And Clerk Treasurer Mike Troxell. Here. Thank you. Water Board uh, consists of three members, myself, uh, Councilman uh, Kevin Conley, and Councilwoman Robin Irvinitis. With that being said, I'm asking the Board to uh, approve the amendments of the December 8, 2021 and December 27, 2021 public meeting. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries 3-0. Claims, any additional claims, Mr. Troxell? No additional claims, Mr. President. Pleasure of the board. Motion to approve claims. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries 3-0. Any reports from uh, staff members, Mr. Volkman? Uh, no reports. Okay. Council members? Okay, there's no old business, no new business. Is there any business from the floor regarding uh, waterworks? Any business from the floor regarding waterworks? Any business from the floor regarding waterworks? Hearing none, this meeting is adjourned and we'll move on to the redevelopment. Called order the redevelopment commission meeting for Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. The time is 7.08 p.m. Uh, the redevelopment commission consists of the entire council. So we'll bring in Councilman Caleb Johnson and Councilman Rob Getzloff into the roll call for redevelopment. Uh, minutes of the December 8th, 2021 and December 27th, 2021 public meetings. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye opposed. Yes, it's 5-0. Claims, Mr. Troxell, anything? No additional no claims, Mr. President. Thank you. So move on claims. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, passes 5-0. Any reports from staff? No reports. Thank you, council members. We have no old business, we have no new business. Any business from the floor regarding redevelopment? Any business from the floor regarding redevelopment? Any business from the floor? This meeting is adjourned. Good evening, I'd like to call the utility board meeting for the town of Sheriff for Wednesday, January 19th at approximately 7.09 p.m. The roll call will stay the same as the redevelopment commission. First item on the agenda is the minutes from the December 8th and December 27th public meetings. So moved. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries 5-0. Claims, any additional claims, Mr. Troxell? No additional claims, Mr. President. Motion to approve claims. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries 5-0 on claims. <laughs> Reports, any reports from staff on utilities? No reports. Mr. Gorman? No reports. Mr. Hansen? No reports. Any reports from council members on utilities? Nope. No. no reports. We have no old business. We have no new business. At this time, I'll open it up to the floor. Any business from the floor regarding utilities? Any business from the floor regarding utilities? No business from the floor. This meeting's adjourned. We'll move right into the town council meeting. I'd like to call to order the town council meeting for January 19th, 2022 at 7, 10 p.m. Roll call remains the same as the previous meeting of the utility board. 
First on the agenda would be the minutes of the December 8th, 2021 and the December 27th, 2021 public meetings. So moved, second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Next on the agenda is claims. Mr. Troxell, are there any additional claims? No additional claims, Madam President. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Next on the agenda, we have reports. Uh, staff reports starting from my left. Uh, Fire Chief Patterson, do you have any report? Yes, thank you. Um, I would like to report that the Cheryl Fire Department responded <coughs> to 350 EMS related calls, 50 fire related calls for a total of 400 um, fire and EMS related calls for the month of December. We also ended the year of 2021 with a total of 4,060 calls total. That's an increase of uh, 286 calls. From the That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Assistant Chief Dave Meyer. Nothing to report, Madam President. Police Chief Pete Sormaz. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, tonight I'd like to report on a, uh, the uh, uh, Elizabeth Drive traffic situation that we had a couple months ago. Back in October uh, 25th, uh, Town Manager Bob Volkman received a letter from residents on that street, and basically what they cited in there was their traffic concerns for the amount of traffic and speed of the vehicles going, going through that street, traveling east and west. And after Town Manager Bob Volkman received that letter, we had some discussion, and my office uh, initiated a traffic enforcement detail for that street there. That was approximately the first week of uh, last week of October and the first week of November, and that netted numerous citations and uh, warnings for that area. An objective there was to educate the drivers and inform them of the speed limits in that neighborhood. After the traffic enforcement was concluded, we placed the Decatur traffic trailer. You've probably seen that throughout our town here. It's the a uh, little trailer with the LED lights that basically, it's a visual indicator of your speed as you're approaching the trailer, and it informs the drivers on what their, what their current speed is, and if, if they go over the speed limit, they're informed to slow down. So that was basically a visual deterrent to inform everybody for all the motorists traveling on that road that, hey, we do have a monitoring system out there. After that was completed, we uh, installed the MH Corbin analyzers, or traffic analyzers, basically removed all the visual deterrents from there, and they're very low profile, and they're black, just like the black top, and they're screwed down to the street, and cars travel over it, and motors don't even know they're there. We wanted to capture the data to see the speeds and how many vehicles are traveling and what times they're traveling east and west on that roadway. So after that was all completed and done, uh, we had assessed all the information we gathered, and tonight I would like to recommend to the council to install stop signs at the intersection of Sheila Drive and East and West Elizabeth Drive. So basically you'll turn that intersection into a three-way stop that's approximately 500 feet west of Austin Avenue. And I submitted a report for review, and if there's any questions, I'm here to answer those questions tonight. Any questions for the council? No questions. No questions. Thank you for the, for the report, Ms. Chief Sarmas. Thank you. And there's nothing further. The, the report has all the details spelled out for the traffic analyzers. Thank you. Um, Deputy Chief McNamara. I have no reports tonight. Superintendent of Parks, John Novosich. Nothing to report. Okay, on my right side, Andy Hansen. No reports. Um, Mr. Gorman. No reports. And Mr. Volkman. Yes, I have one thing, Madam President, that I would like to bring up. I know that uh, several communities around us have uh, addressed the request by Humane Indiana for some animal control as it regards to puppy mills. Uh, we haven't been negligent on that issue. I've been working, we have a total of seven different animal control regulation ordinances that have been passed through the years in the town, uh, all present in, in our current codification. Uh, but I've been working with the police department who oversees animal control to uh, streamline those, update them to current standards, and then address these uh, property use issues by, uh, you know, suggesting amendments to both our animal control ordinance and our zoning ordinance that deals with property use uh, to address these puppy mills and uh, make sure that they're outlawed in town. Uh, currently, under our regulations, any puppy or 
well, not puppy, any pet store that wants to come into Sherville is going to go through scrutiny. It's going to go, it has to have a variance of use. So it would go to our BZA with a recommendation to the council. So ultimately, there's a lot of control now. Uh, we're going to uh, update that and include these regulations regarding puppy mills into our ordinances so that we address uh, what seems to be a, a issue out there on social media and present in the communities. Uh, we do have a lot of regulations. They, we wouldn't allow a puppy mill in, in Sherville now because we would uh, scrutinize that. And we can also put any conditions on any pet store that would want to come into town uh, through our, our review process with the BZA and the town council. But uh, we, will, we are addressing those. We've uh, met already once, and I know Pete is working on, on the edits and the notes that we took at the meeting. Uh, we probably have to have one more meeting, and then all of that information will go to Mr. Austin to uh, craft into our ordinances. Thank you, Thank Mr. Hoffman. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any reports from any council members? Madam President, I do have a report. Okay. And if I may, I would, I would like to recognize uh, some of our members are, that's in the audience tonight um, that has came here for a special reason, and I, and I think it's very important. Uh, Peggy Katona, our Lake County Auditor, please stand. Michelle Feynman, our Lake County Voters Registration and Election Board Manager, along with Bob Tribble from the Lake County Election Board. Steve Kramer from our Dyer Town Council. Tim Arvanitis, of course, Robin's husband, Tim. We have Nicole from the Chamber. And we have Kathy LaRue from the Township, are in the audience. And we have, uh, who's in, uh, oh yeah, from the Dyer Town Council, our new council lady from Dyer, Alicia. And we have our, um, some of our women's Democratic Club is here along with some of our precinct committeemen from the town of Sherville here to, uh, for, to here to acknowledge, and they're, and they're actually here for you, Robin Arvanitis, because we're here to acknowledge that you are the first woman president for the town of Sherville in the last 30, 30 years. Well, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is a this is definitely a day of history, and we congratulate you very much, Robin, for being appointed. And I compliment our whole council for for doing that. And we're we're looking forward to working with you this year as as you are the president of our council. I thank the council for the opportunity. Thank you very much, and for all of you for coming. Didn't expect that. And I did want thought it was a big crowd. I did want to say one more thing. I did receive a call today from Mr. John Jaskula to tell you congratulations on being appointed to president of the council. John's still home recovering from a medical injury and couldn't be here tonight, but John's wife, Mary Jaskula, was our last female town council president 30 year, roughly 30 years ago in 1992. So it's been a long time coming and uh, we look forward to working with you. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. again. Thanks, Tom. Okay. Um, are there any other reports from council members? No. Nope. Moving on to public comments regarding agenda items. Are there any public comments regarding agenda items? No? All right, so we will move on. I see no old business and I see new business. First item under new business is item A. Resolution 2022-1, a resolution authorizing and approving the entry into a joint interlocal cooperation agreement with the town of St. John, Indiana for mutual use and personal assistance for building inspection and permit review services between the town of Sherville, Indiana and the town of St. John, Indiana and all matters related thereto. Mr. Gorman. Thank you, Madam President. Yeah, this is a resolution to uh, share our building inspectors between St. John and Sherville. This is an agenda item that comes up every year. And uh, basically when they're short, we fill in for them. When we're short, they fill in for us. Um, and what's unique about this one is 
it's not going to come up every year now because it's going to continue every year until either party terminates the, the uh, contract. So, Very good. so it's going to continue on, you know, every year. Okay. Madam President. Yes. Uh, motion to uh, approve resolution 2022-1. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Item B, consider the acceptance of the Lake Central School Board appointment of the Lake Central School Board member, Nicole Kelly, to the Town of Sherrillville Park Board. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, yes, Nicole Kelly is here tonight. Thank you, Nicole. Um, yeah, we have an ordinance on the books that allows the Lake Central School Board as well as the Library Board to appoint a school board member to our Parks Department, or to our Park Board, I'm sorry. So she has been appointed by the Lake Central School Board. I think in the past there hasn't been anyone, as far as I know, interested in being a member of the Park Board, and she is, so they appointed her to our, to our Park Board. So we're kind of looking for consideration of accepting her. Thank you. Mr. President? I'm sorry, Madam President. Yes. <laughs> uh, motion to approve Lake Central School Board appointment of Lake Central School Board member Nicole Kelly to the Town of Sherville Park Board. I second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Welcome, Nicole. Item C, consider acceptance of the utility easement between Donald Elzinga and the Town of Sherville, 334 West Division Street. Thank you, Madam President. Yeah, this is a utility easement we've been working on to run a sewer um, from the edge of uh, Mr. Elzinga's property, across his property, to uh, the property next to him at 322 uh, Division Street to uh, allow site services, the company that owns the property now, to uh, get sewer services in the town. Thank you. Move to approve, Madam President. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Item D, award the bid for the mowing of town property. Thank you, Madam President. I'm uh, gonna defer this one to Public Works Director Andy Hansen. He, uh, he made the report and um, he knows a lot about it. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Okay. Um, we submitted um, paperwork for the <laughs> Times and uh, into the newspaper and we had them published on December 14th and again on December 28th for bids. Um, we read the bids out loud at 9 a.m. on January 12th. Um, we had six bidders. Uh, they ranged from 23,400 to 297,000 per zone. We separated out into four zones. Um, our recommendation is to award zones one through three uh, to Goodall's Lawn Care and a large park mowing to R and R yard design <coughs> for a total of hundred and fifty six thousand eight hundred eighty six dollars and thirty four cents for the year. Any questions? Yeah, Hi, Madam President, I have a question. Have we dealt with Goodall's lawn care and R and R yard design in the past? R and R was doing part of it this last year. Goodall's we have not. Uh, I believe Mr. Volkman knows the owner though. Mr. Goodall has, he lives on uh, Kennedy Avenue, right across from the Pop Warner Field. And uh, he's done, had a lawn service business for years um, that he runs out of his home with his family. I know that he, I was talking to uh, President Arvanitis and she indicated that they used to mow the Pop Warner Field for them uh, when they were involved with Pop Warner. Um, I, other than that, I don't know much about him. I, I, I work with him on, building a house. He, his house burned on Kennedy and I helped him and uh, the building department helped him with the rebuilding of his house on his insurance claim. Yeah, the the claim. concern I have is last year we awarded this contract and then the, the, the people that uh, bid or the company that bid couldn't, couldn't get the staffing and couldn't get the people to, to do the work. Um, are, are we confident in these companies to be able to manage the amount of uh, area that they're bidding, the, the, the size of the company matches the job, so to speak? I, I, I don't want to go back and do this again next I, year like we did. Well, and then I guess we'll know over time. I don't, I know Mr. Goodall has run a very successful lawn care business for a lot of years and does a lot of accounts. Um, I don't know where all those accounts, but I mean, in the vetting process, he lists 
all of his equipment. He meets our equipment needs. You know, last year, Great Lakes met our equipment needs. They couldn't hire the staff. They couldn't get the people, right? They couldn't get the people. Now, whether he will experience that same problem or not, I guess time will tell us that. He still could. Um, you know, Great Lakes had, had the equipment to provide to those employees last year. They couldn't hire him. He was down like three or four crews. We also bid it earlier this year, so they'd have time to hire more people. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Pleasure the board. Madam President, I move to approve uh, the award for the mowing and for the town property on the recommendation of our Public Works Director, Annie Hansen. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Item E, consider acceptance of, fi of a fire service contract between St. John Township and the Town of Cherville for the year of 2022. Thank you, Madam President. Yeah, this is also a uh, agenda item that comes up every year. Um, the contract uh, for this year is $32,000. It went up a little bit from last year, it was $30,515. And uh, Kathy LaRue is here tonight too. If you have any questions for us or for her, um, looking for acceptance of this contract. Hello. Hi. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, as Jim, it's not. Okay, as Jim had said, um, there's all, the, the one thing that's different in this agreement from last year is the, the amount. Uh, as he stated, it's up to, it went up about 5% to 32,000. And then there's only one other term that is different. And um, it is um, number two. It just, the, the only thing that's new with that is it states that this agreement is effective retroactive to January 1st. So it's by state statute, we have to have an agreement by the end of the, the month. But it's a given that you always provide, you know, uh, uh, fire services beginning January 1st. But he just put that in the agreement. Okay. Any other questions? I don't have any questions. Any questions? Uh, Madam President, move to approve the fire service contract between St. John Township and the Town of Cherville for the year 2022. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Thank you. Item F, thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Item F, consider conveyance of the property 2100 Sheila from the Town of Cherville to Clarence and Kathleen Kissler. Thank you, Madam President. Yeah, this is a uh, little stretch of property. It's roughly 30 feet by 200 feet that's uh, in front of the Kistler's house. The town owns it. It's their only access currently to their house. It's basically access to their driveway. And uh, we're just trying to clean it up and deed it over to those, to those residents because we have no use for that property. Thank you. Thank Madam you. Madam President. I just, oh, sorry, go ahead. Madam President, the record should also note the town acquired this property through tax sale. It was a, a parcel that was one of those small parcels that got caught in the tax sale process, and the town acquired it for nearly nothing. It was de minimis, and the Kistlers are the logical proper owners of the property. Okay, thank you. Madam President, that was going to be my question, is, is how did we acquire this? And what do we have invested in the property that we are now disposing of? Nothing we have invested in it. We just, anytime property comes up for tax sale, we look at it and um, we get it for minimum price. And you know, there, it was a, uh, a street that eventually was supposed to go f from Austin to Sheila Avenue, but ne that never did happen because we see no, no, uh, no reason why we would want to do that. And it's basically, they have to drive over our property every time they leave their house. <laughs> and why, why did we acquire it then? It was, it, uh, if I can jump in here, it was actually the commissioners. It ended up in the commissioner's hands and the commissioners basically contacted us and says, you know, so it doesn't keep going through the roundabout into the, into the commissioner sale. They deeded it to the town. Um, at that time, you know, I did, we did some research on it it's a basically the driveway that goes back and services a couple of property owners. 
actually, you know, when you go out towards Austin, the piece there is connected to the Kistler property, and he owns all of that. And then this piece here somewhere in history, it got lost. You know, so the tax bill didn't get paid, didn't go to the right place, and it ended up in the, you know, property tax roulette, so to speak. And we, we acquired it directly from the commissioners, and we're just basically quick claiming it to the Kistlers. And I assume the Kistlers are in favor of this. They yes. want it. Yeah, we went, we went and met with them first. And then he wants to do is now consolidate all his parcels under one key so that it doesn't slip through the cracks again. That was my concern, is I don't want them to now have three tax bills and they're not going to pay this one again and it's going to be a tax sale again. He, he actually now has three or four parcels back there, and he's waiting for this one to consolidate all of them. Okay. Good plan. Thank right, you. Thank you. Madam President? Yes. Uh, motion to approve conveyance of the property at 2100 Shield from the, Sheila from the Town of Sherryville to Clarence and Kathleen Kistler. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Item G, consider the acceptance of donations, $11,150. Mr. Troxell? Yes, Madam President. We received to our donation fund of the Police and Fire 911 Memorial a donation from Dorothy A. Austin um, for a total of $1,000. To the donation fund, Civic Fund, we received from Gregory J. Mocha Sr., $100, and Georgia Marsha Hessenthaler, $50, for a total of $150 to the Civic Fund. To the Sheriff of Public Works, from Robert J. Delco, b and Sewer, uh, these were miscellaneous fittings, pipes, and storage trailer. This was an in-kind donation approximate value is about $10,000. So 10,000 in in-kind donations, 1,150 in monetary for a total of $11,150 in total donations for December. Thank you. Okay. Move to approve on the donations, Madam President. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries five to zero. Madam President, if I, if I may, I, I would like to also recognize our, our Lake County auditors uh, in the back of the room with his wife, Karen, uh, John Patalis and Karen Patalis. Thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. Moving on, uh, we would be up to business on the floor. Is there any business from the floor? Is there any business from the floor? Seeing and hearing none, this meeting is adjourned. <laughs>